All right, today I'm gonna to talk about focal length and lenses, particularly uh, Canon, EFS, and EF lenses. A lot of people get confused on this. Uh, it's easy to get confused. So, you've got uh, a, your Canon lens, um, and it's an EF-S lens. So it will only fit on a crop sensor camera. It will not fit on your full frame camera. So you think the numbers on the side say this 17 to 50, uh, since it only fits on the crop sensor camera, you think, oh, this is the, the 17 to 50 millimeter uh, equivalent on for 35 millimeter. That is not the case. These numbers on the side um, are equivalent to 35 millimeter if you have it on a 35 millimeter camera. So the the numbers on the on the on on the lens aren't going to change just because this won't fit on a full frame camera. I hope I'm making sense here. So uh, here's another one to explain. So we've got a Pentax here. Um, this is a uh, five millimeter to 15 millimeter zoom lens on here, very tiny. I've got a review on this if you want to check it out. Um, so that would be the equivalent if it was put on a 35 millimeter camera, but it's not. It's, it's on this little camera right here, which has a very small sensor. So the crop factor in this camera is 5.7, I believe. So what you have to do is you have to multiply the numbers here on the side of the lens by that 5.7. So uh, the 5 to 15 millimeter ends up becoming, if you multiply it by 5.7, like I said, it comes out to be a 28 to 80 zoom lens. So just kind of like a standard kit lens. Uh, same thing with this one. So you put this on your Canon camera, uh, the 17 to 50, and you do the, uh, you have to multiply it by your crop sensor factor, which is, uh, you can find that in your manual most of the time. Uh, in all canons, it's 1.6. So um, just keep that in mind. So 17 to 50 is it's kind of a quick, kind of the same. It's around 28 to 50 or 28 to 80 if you do your uh, calculations. At. But I hope that explains it a little bit better. So remember, it's it's um, you do all your configurations by the crop factor of your camera. It has nothing to do with the lens. The numbers on the side are equivalent to. 35 millimeter if you had it on a 35 millimeter camera, even though it doesn't fit on a 35 millimeter camera. Sound good? <laughs> okay, I hope I didn't confuse you, but I hope that explains it a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I have plenty of other videos, so uh, subscribe. I've got lots of Canon and Pentax stuff, just a bunch of stuff, but uh, thanks for watching.